Hi, I'm Mark Camosio from Gunmart TV and I'm here to show you uh, one of the latest uh, air guns from FX which is the Crown. So the Crown has been um, quite a significant gun for FX and the whole principle behind it is that it's everything is um, fully adjustable. Now the key thing with this is that it obviously won't appeal to everybody but uh, cause some people just want to pick up a gun and shoot but if you are a, a real air gun enthusiast who wants to play and tweak and test out different ammunition then this is a significant rifle. So if we just look at some basics first we've got a um, sectional silencer there, these different sections unscrew and that threads onto the front. Um, FX have actually changed the specification of this crown since it was first introduced. It used to have a telescopic shroud but it's now um, that's now a fixed shroud so it's a full full length shroud. You've got the buddy bottle configuration so you're going to get um, 400 to five, uh, 450 um, shots out of a charge so an enormous amount really for any practical um, reasons. Um, and then you've got the rather attractive blue sapphire laminate stock. They do various stock versions with this but uh, this is particularly nice adjustable um, elements which we'll come to obviously you've got the classic side lever which FX do really well you've got a safety catch there two stage um, semi match trigger Picatinny style rails um, this new style of magazine which um, certainly had me fucked first of all because I wasn't familiar with it but it's actually quite nicely made you've got the Charging is underneath um, via a sort of foster connector, and um, you also have got a dust cap there, which is which is good. Um, and uh, that's pretty well the basics so far. But well, let's look at those features in more detail. Also, as with the move these days for fully adjustable stocks, this beautiful laminate has got, of course, the two main features: an adjustable uh, butt. It's a sort of a wagyu nicely concave and you've got your allen key going into there um, just to, to raise that up and down and then on the reverse of that cheek piece you'll notice a small hole and you just slot your allen key in there and again you can lift or lower the cheek piece and of course the combination of those two means that you really can get a good eye scope alignment which is um, great and of course you know we're talking top end stuff here so it pays to have those those subtle features. Look underneath the action and you'll see there's a twin uh, twin gauges. <clears throat> You've got one for the regulator pressure and one for the main residual pressure in your main buddy bottle. Again, you can, it means you can keep a full check on um, what's going on here. All added technical detail for those who are, who are that way inclined. The, the key um, sort of raison d'etre with this rifle is the, the fact that you can totally alter the power delivery in just about every aspect. This rear dial um, deals with the spring, the hammer spring tension, and um, you can fine tweak that. So it means it's if the if your hammer's hitting harder, it's opening the valve um, that bit quicker. Just letting air the, the air delivery is being changed. And of course, some pellets will um, fly better than others. They might want a softer delivery. It's balancing everything. Everything's about balancing here. You move to the front and you've got the um, sort of simply marked gauge here. Nicely simple. And that is your airflow at the transfer port. Um, if you set that to low, normally you get around six or seven foot pounds instantly. And of course for practice, if you just want to, um, you know, even plinking, although this is a bit high grade for that, uh, but you'll get a load more shots because you've um, completely lowered the power. So, uh, but otherwise, you're also fine balancing the airflow. All these adjusters are um, far more relevant to um, FAC power levels, really. But it's also it is great to be able to play around with different characteristics. Underneath, you've got an adjustable, a fine um, entry here, and uh, you can actually adjust the regulator pressure on this gun and again with those three elements uh, it really does help you to um, set the gun just how you want and to shoot perfectly with different types of pellets 
so it's going to that nth degree. So with FX, obviously they're now well known for adopting the um, smooth twist barrel system, um, which was uh, pretty well devised by Ben Taylor along the way. And um, they, they sort of enhanced this. It's now the smooth twist X system uh, with this gun. And a key thing with it is that you have interchangeable barrels. And I've just slackened it off at the end here. You can see that thread's on. So you pull the shroud back, the shroud, shroud comes clear, all as an assembly, and you have interchangeable barrel liners um, inside. And the, these are sold as kits. So you can buy a whole barrel kit with shroud, I believe. Um, and they can either be for different calibers, but also, intriguingly, for, for the actual barrel twist rate, as in the rifling rate. And of course, this, um, you know, different pellets will, will operate with better twist rates. Again, this is, the twist rate especially, is far more relevant for FAC. If you switch to FAC, you want a different twist rate with certain pellets. But to actually go to this detail is um, quite impressive. So that's the Smooth Twist X system on there. When you buy the barrel kits, you need to um, match them with the pellet probe as well. So uh, everything is then totally compatible. And again, that's all sorted out for you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting system. Right, well, now I'm gonna just show you how silky smooth the, um, the cocking system is. So basically you've got that nice side lever, that pulls back. Unusually, the magazine goes in at an angle with this, so it's actually sloping upwards. I've got some pellets in there already. Shut that off, and then I'll just quickly show you these. There we are, you saw how smooth that is. That really is very light, very easy, and very smooth. Um, FX have got that down to a T. Now, taking the mag out, we're sliding it out of its groove, and as I say, that's coming out at a downwards angle, which is very unusual. Um, I'll just fire the action off to get rid of that. Now, this is the brand new um, magazine from FX. I must admit, when I, when I got this gun through for test, I haven't seen these before, so it slightly confused me. It's very simple. You turn that plastic bar around until it matches up with the groove, then remove the clear lid. Because you instinctively want to start twisting this because all the um, preceding magazines have been that style. With this one, you don't. You just take that lid off, put that to one side. And now, um, you start to anti-clockwise, just turn that initial, uh, the internal wheel. It's a little bit fiddly but um, it does work quite well. Take those out, drop the initial pellet in, don't let it fall all the way through, push it slightly back if it does. By putting that pellet in, it holds that um, initial, the, the internal part back under spring pressure. Thereafter, you just drop pellets into each chamber until you fill. Uh, well, this is 2-2 calibre on test. Um, we actually, we've got sent through from FX Unusually, these are 18.1 grain, which I hadn't seen before, so they're coming up with some um, sort of custom weights on these, but they shoot quite well. Um, so basically, you, you, these are 18 shot magazines with 2.2 caliber. It varies slightly, I think it's 21 in um, 177, etc. And this, as I say, you've got four different calibers you've got 177, 2.2, 2, 2 5, and 3.0. Um, which are both in FAC. So um, it's quite a comprehensive program with this. And then all you do when you've finished, assuming you'd filled that completely, put your lid back on, close that two times round so it's the opposing side. That's then ready and that's ready to go in. So it, it works quite well. So that's the new magazine for me. Overall, um, quite an impressive rifle. So that's the FX Crown. You might be wondering what the scope um, is on this rifle that we've been looking at, and it's actually um, a, one of the new Element Optics models, um, which are currently being marketed by Sportsman Gun Center. This is the Element uh, Nexus. Um, I think it's five and a half to twenty. Um, 
and it's basically what, what makes it interesting is that Johan Axelsson um, Freddie Axelsson's son from FX Air Guns was, is involved with the development as is Matt Dubber and several other sort of shooting notaries um, who set up Element I don't think Element have been going very long I believe it was only 2019 when it was set up um, but already they've hit the ground running this has a feel of a sort of night force quality and um, it's uh, very nice optics so yeah that's the element nexus they're worth looking out for